Hello and welcome to Popcorn Arcade presented by Brutal Ox. I'm your host Bryce McEwen and today we are going through our top 10 most anticipated films for 2014. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the rough and tumble all action film that is Expendables 3. If you've not seen Expendables 1 or 2, quickly pause this video and go watch them now. They are incredible action movies, which is why we're looking forward to Expendables 3 so much. This movie contains almost every action star ever, including Sylvester Stallone, Bruce Willis, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jason Statham, Jet Li, Mel Gibson, Harrison Ford, and many more. Coming in the number 9 spot is the movie that's half man, half machine, but all action. Of course, it's Robocop. You ready? This Detective Alex Murphy and Officer Down. A reboot of the 80s franchise, Robocop promises to be a great mix of science fiction, action, and cop thriller. Starring the almost unknown Joshua Zetterman, we're looking forward to seeing how he pulls off playing the policeman of the future. Also starring in Robocop is Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, and Samuel L. Jackson. You're coming with me. War movies are something that have been done quite a bit, so that's why when something that's unique and interesting comes along, it's worth paying attention to. That's why we've awarded our number 8 spot to The Monument Man. Man. I'm to put a team together and do our best to protect buildings, bridges and art before the Nazis destroy everything. A quick look at this film and it almost looks like Inglorious Bastards without Quentin Tarantino involved. The Monuments Men, directed by George Clooney, is about a platoon of seven museum directors and art historians who were sent into Germany in World War II to save pieces of Jewish art from the destruction of Hitler. The reason we're looking forward to this film is due to the cast. It stars George Clooney, Matt Damon, John Goodman, Bill Murray and Kate Blanchett. We're looking forward to seeing how these characters interact in the entertainment that is sure to follow. Destroy an entire generation of people's culture. It's as if they never existed. We got company! That's what Hitler wants. And it's the one thing we can't allow. So we get to shoot some Nazis? Number 7 is a movie we've been waiting for for a very long time. I'm of course referring to Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. A sequel to 2005 Sin City, it has a unique style of only black and white, which is taken directly from Frank Miller's phenomenal comic book. Frank Miller and Robert Rodriguez are returning to direct this one, and if you've seen this first Sin City, you'll know why we're looking forward to this one so much. Add to that a great cast, and you have one of the movies we're looking forward to most for 2014. Coming in the number six position is a science fiction movie about life and death called Transcendence. Imagine a machine with a full range of human emotion. Its analytical power will be greater and the collective intelligence of every person in the history of the world. Some scientists refer to this as the singularity. Professor? I call it transcendence. Transcendence is a directorial debut of Wally Pfister and stars Johnny Depp, Morgan Freeman, Killian Murphy and Paul Bettany. Johnny Depp plays a computer genius who is dying after an assassination attempt. His friends manage to upload his consciousness onto a computer where he creates all sorts of disorder and chaos. This movie is all about science fiction as well as the moral question where does life begin and end. We can't wait to check out this one when it comes to cinema. Assuming that this works, if we missed anything, a thought, a childhood memory, how will you know who you're dealing with? What list of movies would be complete without a comic book movie? And coming in at the number 5 position, filling out comic book need, is X-Men Days of Future Past. I had a glimpse into the past. You're going to have to do for me what I once did for you. Let's face it, X-Men movies can either be really awful, like The Wolverine or X-Men 3, or they can be incredibly awesome, like X-Men 2 and X-Men First Class. Based on what we've seen so far, X-Men Days of Future Past looks like it's going to fall into the ladder. Designed to be a sequel to both X-Men 3 and X-Men First Class, Days of Future Past stars Hugh Jackman, James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Ian McKellen, Patrick Stewart and many more. You can look forward to this one coming out in May. I don't want your suffering. I don't want your future. Again. 
Number four is a movie that's been getting quite a bit of build-up. No pun intended, of course, it is the Lego movie. Uh, hello, I'm Emmett. I'm just gonna come right out. I have no idea what's going on at all. Fact. Everyone loves Lego. And that's why we predict everyone is going to love the Lego movie. The visual style of this movie looks amazing. The casual observer will look at this movie and think stop motion animation, but it's actually CGI, thanks to the talented people at Animalogic who did Happy Feet. Lending their voices to this movie are Chris Pratt, Morgan Freeman, Elizabeth Banks, and Will Ferrell. The Lego movie looks like a hilarious adventure film and one we can't wait to see. But just in case, tell me the whole thing again, I wasn't listening. Relax, everybody, I'm here. Batman? Awesome! Could you make one of these in orange? I only work in black, and sometimes very, very dark grey. Coming in at third place is one of the movies I'm looking forward to the very most. It is a sequel to Captain America called Captain America The Winter Soldier. I joined S.H.I.E.L.D. to protect people. Captain, to build a better world sometimes means tearing the old one down. To be honest with you all, Captain America is my favourite of all the Marvel films so far. I love the war setting, but also just how pure and good Captain America is, and that's why we've been eagerly awaiting this sequel. Set two years after the events of the Avengers, Steve Rogers is adjusting to 21st century America. However, after a S.H.I.E.L.D. emergency, Captain America must solve a world-endangering mystery and figure out the identity of the shadowy figure known as the Winter Soldier. S.H.I.E.L.D. takes the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom. This is fear. You need to keep both eyes open. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Coming in at the amazing number two spot is a movie directed by no other than Christopher Nolan. We're of course referring to Interstellar. These moments when we dared to aim higher, to break barriers, to reach for the stars. Not a lot is known about Interstellar, and that just makes us all the more interested in it. Directed and written by Christopher Nolan, this movie is all about wormholes, time travel, and alternate dimensions. This movie has an incredible cast, which includes Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, Michael Caine, Matt Damon, and many more. Only a teaser trailer has been released so far, but since this is another movie by Christopher Nolan, we know it's going to be epic. And that our greatest accomplishments cannot be behind us. Because our destiny lies above us. We've just given you movies 10 through 2 and now it's time to announce our number one movie we're looking forward to most for 2014. This movie looks incredible. It looks like it's got a great original creative story, amazing special effects and the greatest cast the earth and Hollywood has ever seen. We're of course referring to Godzilla. This is Tokyo. Once a city of six million people. What has happened here was caused by a force which up until a few days ago was entirely beyond the scope of man's imagination. Rufflecopter, you've been fooled. Of course it's not Godzilla. <laughs> Monster movies are lame. Unless you're 10 years old and a boy. In which case they are awesome. But no, the number one movie we're looking forward to most for 2014 is Jupiter Ascending. Fearless. Relentless. You've been searching for one thing your whole life. And she's down there. Make sure this is the right one. It's her. Good. Kill her. That's right. Jupiter Ascending has been awarded the number one spot on our list of top 10 movies for 2014. And I'm sure you can see for yourself why it belongs here. 
Written and directed by the Wachowskis, Jupiter Ascending is all about a janitor named Jupiter, who has the potential to become the next queen of the universe. Starring Marla Kunis, Channing Tatum and Sean Bean, this movie looks like it has amazing visuals, action-packed fight scenes, but also the moral themes and elements that will not only add depth to the film, but will also leave you thinking long after the credits have rolled. She's what you say she is. We're not getting off this planet without a fight. Your Earth is a very small part of a very large industry. I feel I have you at somewhat of a disadvantage. Is that because you kidnapped me? Some lives will always matter more than others. There you have it, our top 10 films we're looking forward to most for 2014. Do you agree with our order? Do you agree with our picks? Do you agree with what we chose for number one? Whether you do or you don't, let us know in the comments below. After that, hit the like button and why not go to the top and hit subscribe. We also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash popcornarcade. Go along to there and hit like. And we have a Twitter. Why not go across to at popcornarcade and hit follow. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Bryce McEwen, and this has been Popcorn Arcade, presented by Brutal Deluxe.